Hi, I'm Hannah Bernard. You're watching Market One Minute, and I'm here today with Jason Walsh of Global Lion Graphite. So, Jason, let's start off by telling me why the company decided to explore for graphite. We chose graphite because graphite was the last of the energy metals to really catch up, and it's one of the major components of an ion battery. Mm -hmm. The commodity had a run a few years back on graphene settled down mm -hmm. and now has not caught up with um, lithium and cobalt. So let's talk about the projects that the company has. We'll get into the specific jurisdictions, but just right now tell me a quick overview of the projects that you have in the company. The most advanced is uh, our projects in Madagascar. They mm -hmm. were family-run artisanal mines that produced up to 2012 mm -hmm. and we've bought them off the grandchildren of the, the original Very family. Cool. Um, so we hope to have them back in production within 12 to 18 months. Uh, we also acquired the Chetek mine in Carson, just outside of Carson City, Nevada, mm -hmm. which produced up to around the end of World War II. Mm -hmm. And we are in the process of trying to get um, drill permits and then mine permits for that one. Great. And then we acquired the, uh, the Neuron project just outside of Thompson, Manitoba, mm -hmm. uh, discovered by Mike Mazalowski. Uh, thought to be one of the richest graphite uh, discoveries in North America. Great. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about why you chose those jurisdictions to explore and what attracted you to them. Uh, Madagascar is ideally situated to take advantage of China and India. Mm -hmm. uh, China produces approximately 80% of the world's graphite and graphite oxide and it has had to uh, cut back production, uh, shut down production to comply with uh, international mining laws, mm -hmm. um, the um, Paris Accord, and their own pollution problems. Mm -hmm. And then the elephant in the room is India. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a very aggressive plan to um, implement no fossil fuel vehicles mm -hmm. by 2035, mm -hmm. and then phase out gasoline, period. Uh, the second project is in just outside of Carson City, Nevada. Uh, about 20 minutes away from Tesla's Gigafactory mm -hmm. and close to two other planned Gigafactories. Yeah. Uh, it produced up to the end of World War II okay. and we hope to get that into production within the next three years. And then Thompson is one of the premier mining districts of Canada. Uh, all the infrastructure is there, um, power, road, rail and um, fairly easy to permit. Well, it sounds like you're exploring in all the right places. So now let's talk about the partnership with Bigo Technologies. What's happening there? One of the biggest game changers of our lifetime will be graphene becoming mainstream. Um, and Bego has come up with a process to take graphite to graphene mm -hmm. uh, in an economical fashion. When you replace uh, graphite with graphene and an ion battery, you change it by orders of magnitude. Mm -hmm. um, it charges faster, holds the charge longer, operates cooler and is much lighter. Those are all things you want. Yeah. So Jason, we have an investor audience here. Tell them why they should invest. It is a well-structured company, well-financed. Uh, we are lucky to come to market at the right time, uh, be able to raise money at a good market cap. Mm -hmm. um, whereas a lot of graphite companies had to raise money uh, at, with really horrible market caps and are broken down structures. Mm -hmm. um, we were able to use our stock as currency to secure uh, premium assets mm -hmm. and uh, it, we're right in the beginning of a commodity curve. So. Well, it looks like we have a lot to look forward to coming from yeah. 2018. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.